Strongest in the World is an anime based on pro wrestling and pop idols. Our main character Sakura Hagiwara, which is the main leader to a pop group named Sweet Diva, and her best friend who is also a member named Elena, pose as wrestlers for a promotional event until a lady brawler named Rio decides to make an example by teaching them both a lesson in pain in the ring. While Sakura sees Elena get beaten up and humiliated, she vows to get her body ready and trained up so she can not only avenge her best friend's loss, but to also redeem the good name of idols everywhere by becoming a bonafide diva of the pro wrestling world. But it would not be easy. I fucking love this anime. I thought everything about it was spot on, on point. I really didn't have any bad issues to say about it. A little nitpicks there and there, but not nothing to throw away the whole good variety of the package of what the anime had given us. Um, with the characters, the characters are pretty good. Especially our main character here, Sakura Hagiwara. I thought she was, I thought she was perfect. I, I really didn't have any issues with her at all. With regards to her being in Sweet Diva, which was her first career until she, you know, kind of got pushed into her own mind of wanting to be a pro wrestler just so she can prove Rio, which is the character that I mentioned that provoked her to be a professional wrestler so she can duke it out and try to have her way so she can avenge Elena's um, loss. And the pacing to it, the progression to it was good because... With animes like this, I notice they like to do flashbacks. They like to show you certain details of what made them become this way. Um, Naruto, do Naruto does that a lot. Dragon Ball Z, Ball Z does that a lot. And One Piece does, does that a lot. But unlike those, with Wanna Be the Strongest in the, wor in the World, they don't not only show Sakura's successes of her overcoming these obstacles, it shows her struggles. It shows the, the shit that she goes through. And when she progresses and when she begins to learn from her mistakes because she loses a lot. <laughs> I mean, a hell of a lot. And, and that's fine. I, I believe that you need to have this, this anime be realistic with you know, regards to the stuff that this character goes through so we can feel the tension and we can feel the frustration as this character begins to grow because I don't like, look, I don't like a cliche character. In my opinion, I believe that if you want to make this character be done right, you need to give this character certain elements of variety of choices and um, certain struggles that this character will go through. So we, the fans and the viewers, can be like, okay, that makes sense. You, 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 you know, you, you know. So um, with Sakura, she goes through a hell of a lot. She goes through a lot of pain. She goes through a lot of endurance when it comes to her faith in the. Um, in the wrestling industry. She begins to question to see if if this is what she wants to do. She gets into deep depression. And there are even times when she looks at herself on television and then when critics and when people begin to talk about her losses and talks about, you know, just, I don't know if this is good for her or whatever, she begins to tear up and she begins to go through these phases like, man, I maybe, I, maybe I should have went back to Sweet Diva. And she thinks about that many, many, many times. And... But when she gets, you know, when she goes over these things, when she goes over these obstacles and when she begins to overcome everything that comes in her way, not only that you feel, not only that she feels rewarding, but you do as well. And you begin to feel, you know, the successes as our character, our main protagonist goes along with this. Now, uh, Elena, <laughs> she's her side character. I... I liked her. I, I think, in my opinion, she's my favorite character. She was she was also a whirlwind character, in my opinion. She is. Um, I can't say she's like Sakura's side um, character. She was a man in her own way. Even though they both followed in our, and you know in each other's footsteps, and they try to keep the sweet diva thing going, she also was the main person that tried to influence Sakura to come back to sweet diva because Sakura was the main person that held that held everything together. But when Sakura left to try to be a professional, you know, to be a professional wrestler, Elena had to hold the grounds of Sweet Diva by herself. 
and and while she was doing so, she was getting to fe- figure out her own path or her own to make herself be successful and to be to make herself be out in a way that people can look at her differently. And Rio, <laughs> Rio, um, she's a bitch. <laughs> she she's she's a bitchy character. But you need characters like this to build our main character up. You can't have a you know a little two shoe character wrestler to just talk crap about the main protagonist and all of a sudden they just overcome them and they don't learn they don't learn anything. No. Rio is Rio is not like that. Rio, she gets into Sakura's head, she provokes her, she manipulates her, she pummels her. She, like she's she's a character that when you beat her, you learn from it. And she's not the end of it. There there are a lot of characters on the anime that Sakura will be able to overcome and, and will be able to have confrontations with later on on the series that will be her friends, be her rivals, or be terrifying foes. I thought the anime was great. I thought the um, everything about it was pretty good. Even the wrestling specials, they have every wrestler has a special on there, and I thought it it all played out pretty good. They have they all wrestling music, just like the that's like the television shows. It, it's just like that. Um, Sakura's um, introduction of her um, of her wrestling um, entrance is pretty good. I thought it was pretty you know pretty well written and just I jammed to it a lot. Same thing with the music introduction of the um, of the opening scene in the anime. It shows like the um, you know each wrestler of their own little poses, own little fight styles and stuff. And Sakura has to try to fight and overcome each of them on the music. I thought it was pretty good, you know, pretty beefed up. Got me pumped up of each episode I tried to watch. Um, same thing with the introduction. But unlike the main introduction, the introduction shows a sweet diva music um, song from their group and I thought it was great I, I thought alright you know if they're gonna show you know Sakura's forte of how she was when she was a sweet diva why not show one of her songs I thought that made sense and it makes you not want to skip it I, I watch animes and I mainly skip through the introduction and introduction if I heard it once already if I watch it the first time I'm gonna listen to the whole thing but if I it depends on how my mood is then I'll just skip it but would want to be the strongest in the world I'll watch through the whole thing <laughs> every like all the episodes in my opinion um the fight scenes fight scenes was pretty spot on P- pretty intense there were times where look Sakura is not the only person you're gonna be seeing in the ring all the time you're gonna see other wrestlers that's gonna be fighting and each time when you see that Sakura you do be glued in the screen when you see her but when you see other wrestlers fight, you want to see what they're all about as well. And I thought that was good because if Sakura is going to fight these wrestlers, we want to see what these wrestlers are all also about too. But my only complaint with this anime is the length of it. It's, uh, it's 12 episodes, which, which was good. I, I thought with 12 episodes, it's going to be down and, you know, not, not pussyfoot around, get right to the point. But with a show like this, where Sakura gets into the industry of her being a pro wrestler, and you know when her friends from Street Diva is trying to make her come back, I didn't really feel any pressure to it. I didn't really feel like she should come back because on the very first episode she tries to be a wrestler. They didn't really show any episodes of when she had like good memories of Street Diva. They show like little bit nitpicks in there, but there's more focus on the present and the future. Of Sakura's um, future of her being arrested, and I kind of wish if this, you know, if this series was 12 more episodes, up to 24, I kind of feel like they should have went to the sweet diva side of Sakura of how she, you know, was when she wasn't sweet diva, and then when they went to try to do the promotion of them being wrestlers, and when they get provoked of being in the ring getting pummeled then we'll be able to feel that more. I felt it, but at the same time, I wasn't immersed to the point where when she was losing faith of going to Sweet Diva again, I wasn't like, oh man, I need her to come back. You know, everybody wanted her to come back. Um, The audience did, her fans did, because the losses she was taking of her being a wrestler and that questioned her faith. But as for me, the viewer, I didn't really buy it that much. I kind of wish they kind of, you know, focused more of Sakura's career of her being a sweet diva before they gave us 
this, you know, intensity of her being in a ring. But other than that, I thought it was great. Um, I thought it was fantastic. I cannot wait to watch this again. And I highly recommend you guys watching it as well. If you love anime, if you love wrestling, and if you like anime and you want to watch something different, I highly suggest you watch one of the Be the Strongest in the World. You will not be sorry. I'm going to have to give this an A. Yeah, I would normally give animes like this an A+. Plus, um, and I highly suggested, um, you know, phrase about it, just saying, like, check it out now, check it out now. And, you know, you should check it out. But with the issue that I've told you, people that watch this will tell you the same thing, that, you know, the anime was great, but, you know, the pacing of it, it could have been, it could have been more lengthy. Because I'm a 12-episode fanatic. I love shows that have 12 episodes. It gets right down to the point so I can do reviews more quicker. But with this one, I think it deserves um, 12 more episodes, up to 24 in my opinion. Well, that's all, uh, <laughs> that's all for today. Please stay tuned for more of my videos and more of my reviews so they can be headed more your way. This is Hugo, your critic teacher, and I hope you guys have a good day.